All right, let's open up ProSave, and let's cho choose the device that we're going to be connecting up to. I have a Comfort Panel TP700, and this is where you make your connection. Um, you can do MPI, Ethernet, PNIE. I am going to choose Ethernet because I can just type in a straight IP address, and I know what the IP address of the panel is, so it's 192.168.0.2. Let's stop right here and check our PC's IP, and this is how you would do it. Typically, I just go to my wireless, click Open Network and Sharing Center, and then I click my local area connection, and then you just press Details, and that'll tell you what your network adapter is on your PC's IP, C192.168.0.98. You will need to set the IP of the computer to something other than the HMI. Now what we need to do is double check that we have our HMI set up for Ethernet. So let's go check our transfer settings. So let's get on the HMI and stop the runtime. Go to settings or control panel and then go to transfer settings. And then on this list, we're gonna choose Ethernet. So let's search for it. All right, there it is. If we don't know what the IP address is, you could just go to properties right there. And then you can go to PNX1, which is your Ethernet port, and see it's 192.168.0.2. Say OK. And then let's close out this. And then OK. And let's close out of our control panel. Now here we're going to press transfer so we can start the connection for ProSafe. So let's go back to our other PC, and we're set up for TP700 Comfort Ethernet 192.168.0.2. Go to Backup. This is how you are going to backup. I just normally do a complete backup to make it easy. So let's now set the file structure by pressing the three dots. And I'm just going to name this Today's Date 6317 so I know what it is. And then we're going to start the backup process. As long as we have an Ethernet cable connected, IP is all right on the HMI, and your PC has the right IP, you're good. Now the backup has been created and successful. Now we need to go to Restore, and we're going to click on the three dots again, and we're going to find the file that we just created. And I'm going to find the date, you know, 6, 6 of 17. I'm going to click it, click Open. And now as long as I still have the Ethernet cable attached, it shall go to the TP700 and start the restore. Oh, wait. Let me make sure I'm in transfer mode. So let me go to my HMI and click transfer mode. And say yes again. And then it should establish a connection. Now we're restoring it back to the HMI. And once this process is over with, you now have a complete fresh uh, backup of the HMI onto a new HMI. All right. Thanks for watching.